a very warm welcome back to my channel where today I'll be taking you along with me to pick up something really nice and new yeah yeah my name is Donato and yes as I was saying a very warm welcome back to my channel it is a very warm hot sunny day here in London yes London United Kingdom and for those of you who are regular subscribers welcome back it's so good to see you here each and every time and if you are new please do click on the link below to subscribe to this channel yes because i'd really much love your support so yeah what am i going off to pick up well i can't really say too much but uh, i'm walking there and hopefully i'll be having a different form of transport coming back um, provided all things being equal but it's a bit little bit different um, because here in the uk um, they've introduced new uh, laws, guidance, because uh, I'm about to catch a London Underground um, to my destination because um, it's, uh, it's a fair way from uh, where I am and uh, we have to put on face coverings, yeah? So I've got this, so this is to cover up, is it working? Yeah, there you go. So I have to put this on on the uh, London Underground to uh, cover my face. So it says it's mandatory to have face covers on. As I move that out of the way. Oh, there you go, I can breathe now. Oof. But anyway, that's the uh, law's guidelines. You, you're not allowed to get on public transport unless you've got face covering or a mask or something. Cover up your nose and mouth. So that's what I'll be doing. And uh, so follow me along and let's go and see what this delightful new item will be. So I'm on the station platform here and uh, just to give you a bit of a background every two meters there's one of these signs see you know there leave a safe space stay safe leave a space two meters stay safe leave a space two meters yeah all the way along as far as you can see all the way along the platform all the way up there what's it like where you are in your part of the world is it same as here Leave it in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. I kid you not, and there's a guy on the other side of the platform whilst he has a face covering. He's been sneezing quite a lot. Hmm. I'm sure that's one of the symptoms, isn't it? So uh, but anyway, I'm sure it's just a bit of hay fever. Because you can't see my nose or face. Uh, how does this look? I don't know how it looks on video, you know. Do I look like a bandido? Um, you know, <laughs> someone ready to do a heist? <laughs> I don't know, special agent? Who knows, eh? Strange times, eh? Strange times. to the announcements I'm supposed to keep this face covering when I'm in the station as well so until I step out then I'll uncover as I step out the station and ah, can you hear me clearly now 
actually once I'd had that on initially it felt a bit um, claustrophobic is that the right word um, asphyxiation <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's a bit extreme but uh, it didn't feel comfortable but after a few minutes it felt fine so no big deal so you may be wondering where am I well where where am I um, I'm in a small suburb not far from Epping in the Epping Forest area of uh, the outskirts of London so uh, yeah but I'll, whilst I may be in a small area I'm going to a very big store and you'll see what I mean when I mean by big store <laughs> So remember, I said, there's a slight pun that I'm here for a big store. Yes, I'm here at Giant. So if you know your brands, you probably know where I'm here to collect. <laughs> Let's get inside. Oh, here I am. Yes, it's the Giant TCR. Now this is the, uh, I'll give you more details when I get home because we're going to set it up, check the height, saddle and everything. Um, but this is the giant TCR Advance. I am so excited to be uh, having this finally. It does look absolutely gorgeous. It's white and her name is Svetlana. Yes. So let's get, let's get home and uh, check this out. I mean, there's so many new things with this, but oh man, can't, can't express my excitement. Wow! Oh my word! This flies like a... Whoa! I can't believe it. it is absolutely incredible. The speed, the smoothness, everything. It's just so amazing. I love it. I love it. Oh. So I'm back in the flat and obviously being brand spanking you, I've got to bring it into the flat. So yes, here it is. And um, uh, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It was such, I mean, I'm sure those of you who have uh, bikes been cycling and tried all different types can understand how I probably felt when literally when you're used to a certain type of bike and then you get on something that is just another level and this is just another level it was just uh, it felt amazing the acceleration I'll do a, a full review of, of the particular bike I mean you can look it up on the uh, web and uh, yeah it's absolutely brilliant I love it. First impressions is fantastic, but then I did do a lot of research and uh, I had a lot of input and feedback. Ian Bedis, um, Goggles Tires and Trainers, thank you so much for all your feedback, mate. It's been really uh, appreciative. So I've gone for an out and out racing machine. Yeah, I didn't want to go for a time trial type bike. It's something that I want to use. I'm going to use a lot of and I'm going to try it, adapt it, change it. So this is literally just off the shelf. It's still got the uh, yeah, the little bell and uh, the little reflector here. So those will be coming off. Um, I think they have to be on by law or sold with them on by law. Um, but I'm just going to be riding uh, full daytime. And I've got to say, I've never cycled at this time of day through that area. But there's an awful lot of um, obnoxious drivers out there. Honestly, seriously, give us some space. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have every entitlement to be on the road. And uh, I don't normally have a rant, but there's some real, you know, <laughs> yeah, I could use some words. And one guy didn't show all his fingers to me either. Um, I don't know what his problem was, but uh, maybe it's time of day, wrong time of month for him, maybe. I don't know, but uh, clearly people have got issues. But going back to the bike, absolutely love it. Fantastic. Maybe if, if I had a choice, obviously I was limited on budget. And this is a bottom of the range one. It's literally just a, a step up just to see how these are. It's tubeless. So that's the first time I've been on a tubeless bike. It's full carbon frame. It's um, not the highest carbon fiber, but it's carbon fiber. So it's my first ever carbon, fright bay, carbon frame bike. So you can understand again, my uh, excitement is white with orange. As I say, I've named it Svetlana. So uh, because it's like a white angel cloud, all that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm sure you'll be hearing more about this as I turn the camera a little bit more so the light is uh, on me. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this and uh, look forward to taking you on some more cycling adventures over the coming weeks, months throughout the summer. So thank you so much for watching. See you soon.